Hi everyone, it's Mike here for part three of the Camtasia for educators and beginners. And I wanted to show you the final steps in uploading a video to YouTube or creating an MP4. But we have to create captions and you have to share it. And I'll also show you how to use YouTube features to help your more advanced students. Before we add captions, let's discuss what they are and how important they are to your learners. Captions contain text that is synchronized to what is being said or talked about in a video. Before we finish or publish our video tutorial, we must add captions. This is because Stats Canada suggests 1 in 4 Canadians admit to having some type of hearing loss and 1 in 10 are completely deaf. If we don't add captions, we are neglecting a large community of learners. Captions also benefit students who don't have hearing challenges as well. Not all students have access to headphones while watching a video. There are a few ways to add captions in Camtasia, but we as teachers don't always have time to manually add them. So the easiest and quickest way to do this would be to use the speech to text method. To add captions, we'll click the captions tab and then click the script options button. Then choose speech to text. We can now go through our video and try to look for errors. In track three, you'll notice instead of saying, Hi students, it said my suit. So this is something we're going to have to change. So now that we've gone through and fixed any errors in our captions, we're ready to share and produce our video. So to do that, we go up to the share button, the produce and share. And if you want to create an MP4 file, that would be if you didn't have an internet connection, you can create a MP4 file by clicking on local file. And then click next and then choose MP4. You can also choose a Windows Media Video, but MP4 is uh, the, probably the best option. And click Next again. Click Next one more time, and then choose where you want to save this. So I will save this to my desktop. And then click Finish. And then Camtasia will create a folder for you once you click on there. Your M look for the MP4 file, and now you can share this without using an internet connection. Alternatively, you can share this to YouTube, which is going to allow some more features for you, but it's going to ask you what the name of your file is, and then whether you want to share privately, which is um, you can only see it and you can't share it. Unlisted is where only you will see it, and the only way other people will see it if you share the link to that video to other people and then publicly where everyone can see it. So just uh, know those three options and what I would suggest is uh, do unlisted. Then you can just share the video with only people you select. So for students that are more deliberate in their learning when it comes to tutorial videos, they might want to skip to a certain part of the video and you can allow them to do that easily with the use of timestamps. So in this description box, you might want to give a short description of what the video is about. And then underneath that, you can do content. So this is like your table of contents. And type the time, just like it is in the time viewer here, the time player here. Um, see that four seconds is zero colon zero four. So I start my definition of the alternative text at about six seconds. So I, I'll type that as zero colon zero six. That's the six seconds, and I'm going to type definition of alt text. Now, if you skim through parts of the video, we'll go to the part where we start typing. That happens at the 37. So just before I'm about to start typing, that's at the 37 second mark. So I'm going to press shift and enter. And right below that, I'm going to type 0. 0.37 to represent 36 seconds and then I'll describe that as um, alt text description and so on. So if you had a longer video than this one you would have um, you could take advantage of the timestamps and then when I say save changes and we'll get a small preview of what that would look like by clicking on the link and now when you go into the description of the video you see hyperlinks to um, that part of the video. Now if we go back to the edit video section, 
you can add different types of annotation into the video and they these are called cards so you can add a little card at a point in the video let's say at the 31 second mark I want to offer more advanced students the option to jump over to a different video uh, it could be mine or someone else's it doesn't matter so it's cards My students. and then you can choose where to place the card so let's say at the this point of the alt text I want them to view another video on alt text or maybe advanced functions uh, in Microsoft Word you can say click add card at this point and then you can take them to a different channel you can add a poll which is something new and a link to a website as well so if you wanted to give them the option to uh, jump over somewhere else uh, you can do that so if we say create and let's look for, up for maybe we've got a whole playlist of a Microsoft Word course and you want your more advanced students to have the option to jump over there you can so this will happen at the 33 second mark so this is what that'll look like so if we just kinda get a preview we'll go from the 30 second open up the alt text box on the right using the alt text pane we will type and then this suggested Microsoft Word course will pop up and then students will have the option to jump over to maybe more challenging content so thanks for joining me in this third part of my how-to videos on how teachers can use Camtasia. If there's anything I missed, let me know in the comments of this video, and I'll try to cover it at a later date. Thanks so much for watching, and hope to see you around. Bye.